Alright, welcome to part three. Well, during, during the last uh, week and a half, uh, this has set for about a week. Uh, it's uh, bubbled a lot, so for the last few days it's kind of bubbled real slow. Well, I couldn't really get to it because I've been busy, you know, life. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's part of life. I can't, can't get to it you know, at night and not to do it on a weekend. So, here we go, Saturday afternoon. So, basically what I've done is I already racked it. So basically took it out of here, put it in my, what did you see, five-gallon bucket. Believe me, it was not fun. It was something you want to see. sanitized everything, every, everything that I needed to do. I took it out of, of, of here to put it in there because well, I don't have another one of these to take all the yeast and all that ton of sediment all the bottom. I still, still waiting to get one of those. So I need, you know, I need to get one of those, but uh, time, you know. So, did a lot, a lot of work for it. Put it in there, cleaned it out, it sanitized it, and then uh, siphoned back in there. And then filtered it. Uh, we did some filtering and all that, because there was some Believe sediment you. still in there, so we wanted to make sure there was nothing. Uh, a lot of supply, um, probably have some sediment on there anyway. Believe me, we've been at this over an hour now. It was not it's, something uh, you'd want to see. Anyways, during that time, I, I lost a little bit on that, but I'm going to put uh, uh, some some water in there to bring it up where I need it. But during that time, I have to add some, uh, what is it, a one-fourth of was it a fourth? TSP. One-fourth teaspoon? Teaspoon. Of potassium metabisulfite. So, uh, potassium the- sulfite. So I'm going to do... Metasol fight. Uh, one of these. You dissolve it in cool water and then you stir. So, got one, one of that. And then potassium metasol fight. Teaspoon of, or uh, one fourth teaspoon. Uh, teaspoon of this. Dissolved in cool water and stirred. So, we got that. So, Gonna stir. Which I didn't get I didn't get that out. So stirring it up can now dissolve in the water and everything. That's what it's called for. Mm-hmm. Don't stir too much because you gotta add something else. Oh, I have to add something else. You add three teaspoons of potassium sorbate and stir and dissolve that in cool water. I thought we were going that. No, we did potassium metabisulfite and then we're adding potassium sorbate. Where did you put that sor- sorbate in the tap? You're supposed to put three teaspoons in there. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Three? Yeah, three teaspoons. Yeah. I already put a quarter, or uh, uh, one fourth in there of, uh, of this already. So, so put three fourths and then another two. I can do fractions. My pre algebra teacher would be so proud of me. Potassium sorbate, right? Mm hmm. This is kind of like a, a little sticks. So there's there's one. There's two. And then I'm gonna have to have um Is there a three quarters on that one? No, there's a half and a then add one, Four. another fourth, and then add a half. Yeah, yeah. I can do fractions. Okay. And then a half. And then you dissolve it all in and stir. What we had there is a failure to communicate. So the redneck way is 
we, uh, you know, we compromise on our mistakes and we. Um, That's your nice way of saying I'm gonna yell at you about that later. No, no. Okay, that's in there. Is there anything else we have to do in there? We. I don't know what we do with that. So we, we put it in. Uh, Hold up a minute. We degas <laughs> wine very thoroughly. I'm assuming we add that as well. All right. Already done that. Apparently, this guy cannot emphasize enough how important it is. Oh, I, I've done that all the way through the when it was uh, fermenting and everything. I did that all all the time, like every every day. All right. So we add clearing agent. So we add clearing agent now. Yes. Do one I... tablespoon and one cup of water for about five to ten minutes. What? Okay, that's what that says. Uh, candle tablets. Clearing agent. No, but do we do candle tablets? Not from what I see, no. We kill the yeast. Any still living yeast that's in there. Wait, that's got to be some resilient yeast. So, uh, let's pour that in there. I mean, I'm assuming we pour that in there. Although, you know what happens when you assume. Okay, so we did make sure all that was dead in there. Um, we have to put sugar in there, right? Um, we add our clearing agent, and then if it's, no, we don't, I was reading the wrong step when I said we add sugar. If it's not full, add enough cool water to bring the level within two inches of the top opening. Adding a, a like wine rather than water is preferred. A cheap white, whatever that is, will work well. Okay, we need to go back up there because we're missing stuff. Are you guys filming? Yes. Yes. That's my lovely wife. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Wino. Um, okay, so. Better other wine. <laughs> so we're going to have to add sugar to it. Uh, no, you're supposed, I was reading the wrong step. You're supposed to allow to clear undisturbed for no less than one week. Okay. We don't add sugar just yet. Pause it. Alright, so I'm going to take a little, I had to read, uh, read everything about it because, uh, you know, I, I read it too, but I, I was going by my memory, so it wasn't quite. So, I'm add, adding, uh, well, what do you call it? Uh, Tablespoons? Um, clearing agent. I thought the tablet thingy was clearing agent. No. Oh. I was mistaken. So. why you're letting me redo the directions. Hmm? I don't know why I'm in charge of directions. <laughs> well, you read better. Alright, so, I'm gonna, got some, already some warm water over here. That I boiled to sanitize everything. A wild captain makes an appearance. And a disappearance. So, let's let that dissolve. And, uh, more water. Ooh, that sounds really nice. So I got that clear and agent on there now. So it says now to uh, bring up, uh, bring up to within two the inches of the top. So you're supposed to add cool water, not warm water. Huh? You're supposed to add cool water. That's cool. So. 
So to make it harder on myself, I'm going to put it down. And we're just going to use a siphon, I'm assuming. Go back. Need help? Nope. Really? Because it looks like you're dripping. I seem to recall you saying earlier, I don't want to make a mess. Remind me not to use that towel to dry dishes. So, for that one right there, that's, that's going to sit there for whatever how long it takes to, to firm and everything. That's set it for like two weeks to get flat. And even, even now, it still has some uh, CO2 in it or some bubbling in it. Because I already put it in there. And the yeast is not that fast to already start working. So, which you can tell it's still some more CO2 in there. but. I said, I don't want to wait any longer because I need to get it going. So, anyways, uh, we'll continue with the Dragon Blood line here and then the Mountain Dew line whenever it comes up to do. The next step after this, after the week of clearing, we'll uh, take a SG rating, see what the alcohol content. And then, we took uh, it a little bit earlier and it was 0.99? 0.99, so that was, that was dropped right below. 
I'll add some sugar to make uh, to uh, the back sweeten it to where I want it at, and then from there I will probably uh, um, start bottling bottling it. Well, I'll have some some uh, sediment at the bottom. Which, speaking well, of, we need to come up with a name for our wine. Which, uh, you know, if you can comment or whatever on um, what, what you guys think what we should name our Dragon Blood wine. Because I plan on this, making labels for this, them. Uh, this one here, of course, is just going to be Mountain Dew wine. But our Dragon Blood wine, we need to come up with a name for all of us winos. So if you can comment on the video or uh, message me, see what you think, or uh, whatever. Uh, sounds good. We'll pick that. So by popular opinion in the Winos house. That's right. So, anyways, thank you for joining, and uh, this is your redneck wine drinker, and uh, I guess what you call a redneck uh, uh, winemaker now. <laughs> this is my redneck winemaker. So, from all you out there, from Captain, my daughter, and my lovely wife, and the dog currently sitting in my lap. Why not?